the Clown Prince of Crime gets a little bit more cubic as we have a look today's video at the Diamond Select Vinnie Mates. This is the Joker vinyl figure. Mr. J gets some strong company with this wave of Vinnie Mates as also available in this series is Superman and Wonder Woman. Just how tall is the Joker? Let's go ahead and put the tape measure right up to the top of his hat. I think that's a good place. There we go. Just shy of about a 0.1 of an inch. It's probably safe to say that Joker stands at about five inches in height. We switch that then to centimeters. You're looking at 13 centimeters exactly. You need more comparison in size? Okay, well, we'll move over the Joker and we'll bring in the Batman that we also have had a look at from the Vinnie Mates lineup. Clearly, you can see, putting the two side by side and not dropping Batman, the Joker stands a lot taller. A lot of that could be chalked up simply to the fact that Joker also has his hat sitting on top of his head. Um, I think the two pair quite nicely together as these are both more comic-rooted designs of both Joker and Batman. Both of them also share the very similar, very familiar blocky state that comes with Vinnie Mate collecting or Mini Mate collecting, in which these are basically larger versions of Mini Mates, which I was always a big fan of collecting back in my heyday. Still sort of want to collect Mini Mates, but there's so many different waves currently out there and currently getting released that it's so hard to kind of keep my hands on every single thing that's coming out it's almost impossible but in the meantime though you can appreciate much larger representations of the mini mates in the vinny mates form now with these though the only trade-off unfortunately for the fact that they do look like mini mates is that they have lost the posability so in the case here of joker you're really only going to get a figure that does this he's staction you can't unfortunately move the arms. You can't unfortunately move the head, which I thought initially, I did pick up Vinnie Mates in the past that did have possibility in the head, and yet both Batman and Joker are the same case. I can't move the head whatsoever, so they're pretty much now staction pieces. But it's still perfectly fine because I really do like the look of Vinnie Mates, and these so happen just to work really well together. I want to find my I did a review of Harley Quinn. I want to, want to see where I put the Harley Quinn because I really would like to put all three of them together. For the design of Joker in this case, Diamond Select has given him a hat as well as his trench coat. He also is sporting a really neat looking Joker cane, which if I can hopefully get the camera to catch it, there we go. A nice looking gold handled cane, which also has some gold painted nicely on the bottom there as well. This is sort of more mobster looking Joker. Like I said, complete with hat on the top, which unfortunately you can't remove. I mean, it kind of goes without saying. In fact, I do remember, I think DC Direct, when they did the collaboration with Diamond Select, releasing DC Minimates many years ago, I believe also that Joker also had a hat. I would have to go back and double check that. But this is a really nice looking printing on Joker's face here. A really sinister looking smile omitting completely the nose, which is something that most mini mates won't have is the nose portion, but it gets certainly the point across even without a little schnoz sticking out from Joker's face. I love the detailing that they put in the side cheeks, really accenting like that big devilish smile. And you've got the furrowed brow there with some nice panel lining there at the top there as well. Now, granted, this is all printing, but they've done a really exceptional job here on Joker's face specifically. He's got, of course, the classic trademark Joker hair, which is a very bright, vibrant green here. Pairing that very quite nicely to almost like this grape-colored purple, which works really well with this particular Joker. I don't know if you can also tell, too, but he's also forwarding up bringing forward his lapel featuring his flower on the front. Now, I would not be inclined to go up and smell it. You probably would be surprised to have some acid sprayed in your face, so you might want to just stay away from that. Paint is really clean on him. 
I feel like the chest area, the vest section of Joker's torso, feels like it looks like it almost is a little too muddy, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the overall paint. He's got his pinstripe pants, and of course he's got his, uh, his shoes, his classic looking Joker shoes. You can see underneath there are nice flat feet, so Joker's not going to have any problems standing whatsoever. Unfortunately, like I said, there is no possibility to had in any of these Vinnie Mates. I did think, though, that the original Vinnie Mates did have head articulation, but it seems like they just kind of cut that completely out of the mix. Instead, what you're getting, like I said, is a version of a Mini Mate, which would be about that size, simply scaled right up. And I do quite like these. They're blocky, and they're very reminiscent of like the collectibles that I was collecting back in the day. In fact, actually, when I was doing YouTube, you know, so many years ago, starting in 2009, so I'm coming up to about a 10-year anniversary of doing this thing. Um, back in the, my heyday, if you want to really call it heyday, I was really collecting Mini Mates. Mini Mates was kind of like a big thing for me to review on a regular basis. Now I've sort of evolved, I guess, if you will, to not only uh, the other collectibles, but kind of upgraded versions of those Mini Mates now as Vinnie Mates. Again, unfortunately, you're limiting yourself to a little bit of the lack of posability, but I think the trade-off, though, is the benefit of having what you liked so much about Mini Mates simply just a lot bigger. You know, initially, I was going to say that Vinnie Mates caters to a market of collectors that formerly or still continue to collect Mini Mates. It may have been an isolated market, but then I think to myself, no, Vinnie Mates are fun, blocky collectibles that are sort of that competing market to the otherwise saturation that we're getting with the Funko Pops. Funko Pops don't have a whole lot of posability to them either, usually relegated only to bobbleheads via springs or just standard swiveled heads. Vinnie Mates don't have that, unfortunately, but what you're getting, though, instead is the trade-off of a really nice, detailed figure. If you sort of have spare extra cash and you're picking up a few comic titles and you want to get something just fun as a collectible, I think Vinnie Mates is a nice alternative to the otherwise saturation of what we're getting with Funko Pops, which I still think is just way too many pops. If you want to do yourself a favor and you want to get, you say, yourself a Joker, Maybe you stay away from the pops as a whole and start venturing into something different and something fun like Vinnie Mates. And I think you might be impressed. You might end up becoming a new collector of these really neat collectibles. Today, we were having a look at the DC. This was the DC Vinnie Mates from the folks over at Diamond Select, the DC Mini Mates, the Joker vinyl figure. Really fun. And uh, I like the fact that they kind of kept them to his classic roots. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Vinny Mates reviews, there's a playlist designated just for that. And if you want to see more of these, don't worry. We're going to have a look at some more Vinny Mates in coming, upcoming video reviews. The key, though, is make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. And, of course, while you're at it, why not swing by the homepage, check out some of the videos that I've posted up to this point to see if there's anything that you may have missed along the way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.